Hi scholars, Miss Martinez here, and today we're going to be talking about area. Area is a math word that means the space inside of a shape. We're going to find out what the area of my magic square is. What sorts of things will fit inside the space of my magic square? Things like an apple or my cat's toy. I want to know if you think this pink circle will fit inside the area of my big square. Thumbs up if you think it will fit, or thumbs down. Here we go. It does fit almost perfectly, but almost not perfectly because a circle has round sides and a square has straight sides, so there's still some space left. Now, do you think that I could fit a second pink circle inside of my magic square? Do you think I have enough space to fit another one? No, there's not enough space to fit another big pink square. So the area of my magic square is about one pink circle. Now, do you think that this tiny square will fit inside the area of my big square? Thumbs up if you think so, or thumbs down if you don't think so. Oh yeah, it fits inside. My little square is much smaller than my big square, so there's plenty of space for him. I'm actually gonna keep adding little squares until I fill up the entire magic square so I can see how many little squares will fit in the area of the big square. Before I do, do you have a prediction about how many little squares will fit inside my magic square? What do you think? Okay, here we go. Count with me, scholars. One, two, three, four, now I'm putting them close together to make sure I use up all the space. Five, six, seven, eight. Hmm, I noticed that in the first row there are four squares, and in the next row there are also four squares. I wonder if the next row will have four squares as well. Nine, ten, eleven, 12. Yep, this also has four squares, which means the last row will probably also have four squares. What is 12 plus 4? Let's find out. 13, 14, 15, 16. Oh my gosh, scholars. 16 little squares fit inside of my magic big square. So the area of my big square is about 16 little squares. Give me a thumbs up if your prediction was close to 16 or a thumbs down if your prediction was not close, which is okay. Okay, we're gonna say goodbye to our little squares. Bye-bye. And now I wanna see if you predict I can fit one of these beans inside of my magic square. All right, how many beans do you think will fit inside of my magic square? A little bit of beans or a lot of beans? Well, I could sit here and count them out with you, but that would take a really long time. So what I did is I drew my square on another piece of paper and I already filled them with beans because it took a long time and you'll see why. Drum roll, please. Whoa, so many beans fit inside of my magic square. Now, how could we count all these beans? We could count by ones. One, two, three, four, five. But man, that would take a long time. I think my scholars know a faster way to count. Each row of beans has 10. We know how to count by tens. Count with me, scholars. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60. There are 60 beans inside the area of my square. My magic square can hold 60 beans inside. That's a lot. Now, did I use more beans to fill my magic square or more little squares to fill my magic square? Yeah, I used a lot more beans. I used 60 of these and only 16 of these. That's because these beans are smaller, so I needed more. 
Well, thank you so much, scholars, for filling in objects and shapes into my magic square. I hope that you try practicing filling shapes with other shapes to see how many can fit inside. Bye-bye.